fire that burned brightest in me and the fire that burns brightest in this organization is the will to win. The will to win requires men willing to win. And Al Davis created an environment for both success and brotherhood. The Raiders is always, to me, it's like a family. I love every guy I ever played with. And playing for Mr. Davis is, is heaven. And when I go back to the Raider camp, uh, you know, the juices start flowing. The blood turned warm and uh, the pride and the poison, the silver and black, uh, it's there. I don't know what the Packers had, I don't know what any other team had, but the Raiders got it and I think we'll always have it. That's a family and that's what we got with the Raiders. The Raider Mystique. It was a team concept characterized by rugged individualism. It was an us against them philosophy, where the squad would rather be feared than respected. Under a swashbuckling flag, Al Davis molded a collection of mavericks and misfits into champions. Unique and colorful characters that carried the torch of Raider football with a confident swagger. I never forget against St. Louis that we were playing them, and we came over to the stadium. We walked from a hotel. We had suits and ties and all of this. We looked like a Boy Scout troop. And as we were walking up to the stadium, the Raider bus pulled up. These guys fell off of that bus with leather coats, dark glasses, chains on. They looked like somewhere some people right out from Rawway State Prison. And I think our team, seeing them get off the bus, set the tone for the game. We got killed that evening. We'd go into cities, and actually these teams would be beat long before we got there. They would. They would absolutely fumble. They, they would uh, let us make interceptions. Quarterbacks used to throw me the ball. I swear to God, and it was in their mind. Let's just get rid of this thing. Give it, give it to the Raiders. It's, it, get me off the field. When we would go on the road, we were the most booed team ever. But, but people reacted to the Raiders. I mean, it was kind of like Muhammad Ali. You know, Ali was great because people wanted to watch him. You know, I mean, and they either loved him or they didn't like him. And they wanted to see him win or they wanted to see him lose, but whatever, they wanted to see him. Let's keep dominating this team. Let's keep dominating. Al Davis's legendary eye for talent was always focused on gifted refugees from across the league. Even the bad guys that nobody else wanted end up going to the Raiders and becoming great ball player. And I think it was you attribute that to Al Davis dealing with people. There weren't misfits for, to us. To the players on that team, they were not misfits. They were treated like men. He brought in players who someone thought was washed up, but he, he saw something else in them. George Blanda saved his best for last. After 17 years in the game, he joined the Raiders. He became one of the greatest players in pro football history as well as the second Raider inducted into the Hall of Fame. Crowd hooting and hollering and roaring because George Flanders is the quarterback. Put him to look. He throws. Grant Flanders. After stints with Denver and Cleveland, many thought Lyle Alzado's best days were behind him. In only his first season with the Raiders, he recaptured his greatness as the NFL's Comeback Player of the Year. In 1991, Hall of Famer Ronnie Lott also received Comeback Player of the Year honors when he led the entire league in interceptions. In 2001, after being set adrift by the 49ers, Jerry Rice sailed across the bay to reignite his career with Oakland. Touchdown, Jerry Rice! But certainly, the most dramatic turnaround was quarterback Jim Plunkett. He joined the Raider family at the lowest point in his career and went on to win two Super Bowls. Mentally, he was at the bottom. He was depressed the way life had gone for someone who was the very first guy taken in the draft. He was cut from the 49ers, all, literally almost out of football, and uh, yet he was willing to take a, a chance on me, give me an opportunity to play for him. Jim Plunky got his whole career revitalized in Oakland. I mean, here's a guy that I watched the New England get beat to a pulp. And all of a sudden, he's Super Bowl MVP. And I think the Raiders was the only organization who could have really pumped some life in Jim Plunkett. 